As you can see, I got the place tore apart. Oh, well, as you can see. <laughs> um, side, I'm going to put my fireplace. and turn this radio down. Uh, I've got my, uh, what is it, uh, three pipe to go through the roof. Install the uh, wood stove. That's where I'm going to put the wood stove at, right there. This way, when I need to service it or whatever, I just open this other door for now. Temporarily, until I get all my uh, 4x6s, my 6x6s in, which they're going to run over here and they're going to run like those and bring it out to uh, an 8 foot porch that's going to come all the way all the way to 40 feet length. Um, I still got more lumber over there in a pile and I got more lumber up at the top of the hill. So. Let me get to working, get to step in here, get me some heat in here because it's winter time just about here already. At least it is to me. When it gets down to 28 degrees, that's winter time to me. Alright, let me get to stepping. B, why are you pissing on my truck? Alright, let me give you an update. There's Lola. Say hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. How you doing? <laughs> Hey, rub a tub tub. They told us that was a mini pot belly pig. She's a good hundred pounds or more. There's no way. Alrighty. Right. Oh, look at this thing called here. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> well, I got the uh I got it installed. It was not easy, especially cutting a metal roof and putting it through. I uh, couldn't use all of the kit because the kit, uh, it goes through like a, your regular ceiling and then your roof ceiling, you know. Well, I don't have any of that installed yet. So it can't catch anything on fire because it's all metal. I don't know if you can see it or not. There you go. So, but I got it all caulked in, sealed. Uh, it can always be took apart, you know, they all come apart. And, of course, I'll get some better light in here and... And I'll give you an update on it, but right now it's all it's it's installed. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated on it. Uh, I should have no problem. I think heating 480 square feet when it says it should warm up to was it or 2,000 square feet. So maybe it might roast me out of there. Uh, on the back of it, it has a spot for me to put a little 12 volt fan or a 110 fan. Uh, let's see if you can see it right there, and then it has vents that come around the front and the back of it, and actually will blow the heat around a little bit better. Well, I gotta take my wife to work, and then uh, I'll be back. Maybe I'll get some more film done on it. But as you can see, I'm three feet past the peak. Uh, Yeah, three feet past the peak, you know, up off of it. Well, maybe about foot, two feet past the peak, and but it's up there. And like I said, I got it all sealed in, all locked in. Those three wall pipes actually uh, just give it a little twist, and they actually lock themselves in. I guess everything should be fine. Uh, it's pretty sturdy, and it's sealed. And hopefully, we'll stay warm this winter. Well, until next time. You guys take care, and like I said, I'll always give you guys an update on each and everything that I'm doing around here, uh, and that's just going to break them down onto a thing because my internet is slow, and I can only upload certain amount of videos, you know, I mean, how many minutes on a video, so, okay, you guys take it easy, see you next time.
the first night with the fireplace. I'm going to have to look this up. It has a. Uh, let me see. It has two levers, one here and one there, same way. Uh, as long as I leave the door open, uh, the fire will actually be a nice roaring fire like that. It's actually pretty nice. One thing I cannot do is get this, I don't know if you guys can see it well. Anyway, the burn zone, I don't know if that's messed up or if it's because it's a straight pipe straight out the roof there's no bends in it so that's not going to hold too much of a temperature it's just going straight up and straight out I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing uh, everyone anyone that's had something like this um, leave a comment All right, let me turn this TV down yeah I'm running the uh, 73 inch big screen TV Let me turn it down here. Alright, now maybe you can hear me better. But, uh, it's not getting too hot back there. You can see the cat back there. I got the board back and I got it 18 inches. Where are you going? To? I've got it 18 inches from the wall. Go ahead, Clint. Go sun going out, i got to watch the dog get run out. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Like I said, is that normal? Is that the way uh, it's going to burn at that temperature? Um, like I said, I can shut this. Let me see. So, anyone that has any comments on it or, or any information on it, just leave um, something in the comments for me, because I'm not absolutely sure. Um, there you go. Let me see. I've got them both out. I don't know, it seems to burn a little bit better that way, but I don't think they're even connected to anything. So I might have to take this fireplace back apart, and uh, just literally take it apart and see what those things are moving. I know one should be the... Uh, Oh shoot, I can't even think of the name of it now. The damper, and one should be something else, the airflow or something like that through it. Uh, but, it's just a small fireplace, a wood stove or whatever. It is a, um, it only holds I think 15 inch, lo 15 inch logs, that's the biggest logs you put in there. But, I'm not sure about this. That's that's what's bugging me. Uh, I like. I don't want creosote to build up inside of it. Like I said, it's it's a straight pipe. Let me see. It's three foot. No, what are they? Two foot. I don't know. Whatever each one of those sections are. Then I know I got a 24 inch, and then I have a 36 inch above that. Now, like I said, I don't have the cover and everything on there because I got to frame this all down to the uh, roof level here, to where I'm going to put it, which is going to be right here. Let me see my finger. There we go. <laughs> anyway, anyone has any comments about it, I'm going to upload this video right away. It is the first night. Uh, it's raining out. Uh, the house is not smoking up. So, as you can see, this is blare light. Blaring, uh, glaring light. <laughs> TV is on. And then, of course, <clears throat> like I said, it's burning. But, as you can see, it's it's like a reddish, a bit of red fire. No, I don't know what color, I guess. Anyway, anybody has any comments, let me know. Uh, before, I guess, I tear this thing apart, I'm going to upload this tonight. Put it on, and then, uh, let me know. The biggest thing is about this. This is, uh, this is bugging me, because I don't want creosote building up in it. Uh, let me see if I can get the glare off of it so you can see it. Maybe this thing is wrong. Maybe I don't have it up high enough. It's about looks like it's about 10 inches from this to that. But like I said, everything's going straight up, straight out. 
and I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be or not, but that's a through the roof, not out the wall type fireplace. So, all right, I'm gonna upload this. You guys take care. See you next time.